Hi there, welcome to Rona Diaries. Today is Friday the 2nd of October 2020. On the 30th of September uh, I woke up with no smell and no taste whatsoever. And I, oh. So, off to the test centre I went, did the little stick thingamajiggy and I got the result back today as positive. So, um, here's my diary. I isolated from the day I started my symptoms like you're meant to. So, it's ten days in total. I've done two, so I have eight. Quick mess. Tomorrow it'll be seven, and so on. So, uh, yeah, currently having to isolate from the rest of my house because they don't know if they've got it yet. They did tests. One of them started symptoms the day after me and got a test. And then Birmingham City Council came and knocked on our door and gave out some free tests for the rest of my housemates that are here. And uh, so they will find out their results tomorrow. Um, so they might, depending on their result, they might be joining Rona Diaries. But for now, just in case, I mean it's pretty likely they have it, but just in case they don't, this bedroom is a uh, my home. I go downstairs and make my food with a mask on, sanitise everything, and I uh, come back up to my room to eat. So, uh, because I can't taste and smell anything, there's not much point seasoning things. The only thing I can realise I can, like, taste is salt. So, uh, I've got some pasta here with some veg. Just got my pasta, and it's just got a heck of a lot of salt water. It was, well, it was cooked in a heck of a lot of salt water. And that's literally my tea, because there's no point. Yesterday I had, ooh, yesterday I had chicken, put seasoning on it, because it felt weird not putting seasoning on it. Couldn't even taste it. I couldn't even taste the garlic. I couldn't even smell the garlic. So, yeah, there's just no point. I'm having bland food for now because there's no point wasting. There's no point wasting good, decent, tasty food if I can't taste it. Child and chimp were on a par. Could you take my shoe off, please? You might need to untie it. For both child and chimp, the ability to understand outstrips their ability to produce language. The girl, because of her age, and Kanzi, because the chimpanzee vocal tract does not allow it. I'm going downstairs to wash up. Who would have thought in 2020, in my second year of university, I'd be in my own house having to wear a mask to leave my bedroom. You can't write it, you really can't. <laughs> I've come downstairs to find this on the door. The Rona positive one, that's me, and negative is currently zero because my housemates don't have their results back. But we've gone downstairs. It's Anna's birthday tomorrow. So this is what Abby and Ollie have done. Isn't it cute? And then it's got this on it. Do you say hi? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Abby's hiding behind the door because she doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't think I said before, but um I have a cold as well as Corona, so I've got a cold and Rona on top, which is fantastic, obviously. So, to help with the cold symptoms, for example, my blocked nose, which makes me sound really nasally, as you probably have noticed, I've got some good old night nurse to knock me out and, you know, help me sleep well. It's currently 5 past 12. And um, I just got a notification on the house group chat <laughs> from one of my housemates, Vicky, and she's got an email confirming that she's got 
coronavirus. Her test came back positive and I don't really know why I'm like laughing and smiling about it. I think it's just my way of dealing with it. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's not looking great for the other three housemates. We already told our sixth housemate not to bother moving in this weekend like she was planning on because obviously why would you want to move in if people have got coronavirus and you haven't had it yet? So, yeah. No. A little update on everything. So I think I said yesterday how Vicky got her test back at like midnight saying how she's positive. So that's two people positive in our house. And also Hannah woke up this morning not being able to taste properly or smell anything. So um she also thinks she's positive but we're still waiting on her results and Holly and Abby's. So yeah, a bit of a unfortunate birthday present <laughs> from the world. It's very very cold, it's raining again like all day yesterday, it was very grey, the sun's my side, to be honest I felt like it was 8 o'clock in the morning, you would believe it because it's just really gloomy and dark and not nice. I've got my fairy lights on to try and make it feel a bit more cosy and we've put the heating on as well, but it's not the warmest. Um, putting makeup on just to make myself feel a bit better. And I'm gonna edit my video. from Sainsbury's because Tesco don't have any slots and Sainsbury's delivery fee was only a quid for this time that I've got so um it's okay and my house are going to chip in as well like so make the order worthwhile things like that so yeah I'm making the order now because we can't go to the shops and get food and I'm running really low like I'm using like the last bits that I have so um yeah why when you search pasta does it come up with beans <sighs> seems to really be home my bank account mm. cake please i finished editing and i made a thumbnail emailed it to myself so it's on here as well do you like my phone case by the way it's from case to five if you're watching sponsor me hannah has a birthday cake downstairs and i want to eat some um mm. but i don't know when i can do that how do you feel knowing that you're risking it all by being in the same room as me how do i feel No words. <laughs> Holly's speechless for the first time ever. <laughs> How do you feel, Abby? Risking it all. You feel, so it's been you feel like you want it. <laughs> it's been updated since last time. We're now too positive. So Abby wants it. I want it. I don't. Holly doesn't, I but don't. she's risking it all still. Yeah, you still say it's a fresh rocky biscuit. <laughs> Where's the biscuit? So good. Morning. Housemates still haven't got their results back. It's five past one, so I've been up since like half nine, but I haven't really done anything. I only got out of bed at like half twelve. But I've gone downstairs and I did all my washing up from last night that I left, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put a dark wash in, and I'm gonna clean the bathroom 
because it needs cleaning and it's not just me that's using it so um I don't want to give my germs to anyone else that's not got their result back yet so I've actually been waiting for the longest time. Oh, you can see myself. Hello. My laptop's designed to do an update. And I've been waiting for the longest time for it to do. And I've been like, it's probably almost been an hour now. And it's still not done. It's on 6%. And I'm meant to do this lecture and I've got reading to do. But I can't do it. Feach. My gin. I think I might put up my photographs, I have photographs. I could also probably do with getting some more on free prints, but um, I have photographs to put up on my wall, so I might do them actually whilst I'm waiting for my laptop to do an update. I'm thinking of putting them on this wall here, because it's quite bare, but then there's also that wall over there that just has a single picture on it. And there's also the wall like just above my sink, um, not my sink, next to my sink and above the drawers. I think for now I'll try them here just because I think it would be nice to have something like on that thing. I also need to try and get that hook off as well. Uh, so <laughs> I got the hook off but it kind of took the wall with it. I don't know whether the laugh will cry. <laughs> huh. Sugar muffins. I actually don't know what to do. I hate whoever put this hook on. Is it that bad? Yeah, it is that bad. Ugh, for goodness sake. Right. At least I can cover it all with the photograph. <laughs> so that might have to be my starting point now. <laughs> so, I did the wall. And it's just really empty. It, it feels like it looks... I feel like it looks a bit pathetic. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm not loving it. So I'm gonna leave it as it is because I can't bother taking it down. But what I'm gonna do now is order some free prints, some photos on free prints to go with it because I only have photos like pre-uni on there so I want to be able to get well there's like two like photo booth photos on there but other than that there's no like uni photographs of me my pals from uni so tested positive, Holly upstairs has tested positive, Vicky and I are positive, Abby on the other hand is negative, oh, the only person in our house who's negative. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you have to isolate from us. Oh, no, no, no. Get it. <laughs> Well, what a drastic turn of events.
Abby has gone for another test this morning. She came back. So she's done it all so she can get the results in like a day or two. And then, um, yeah, I've got work to do. I still can't taste anything. So, um, Panopto, the platform that we receive our pre-recorded lectures on, is down for everyone. So the lecture that I needed to finish from last week ain't gonna get done. And the lecture that I was meant to do today isn't gonna get done. So that's great. So I've got this TED talk to watch in as well. So I think I'm gonna watch that instead. I'm gonna take a break. Even though I've literally only watched a 20 minute lecture. <laughs> I've only watched a 20 minute, not even 20 minutes, 15 minutes TED talk. But I wanna play Animal Crossing, so. Yeah. We are rearranging this bedroom for a new housemate. This is the current state of it. Wait, let's go from the door. This is the bedroom before. <laughs> this is the bedroom before. It's got the wardrobe, the bed, dressing table thing, and the desk with another chest of drawers that was there. And there was a rug that we were just taken out. And now we're going to rearrange it to make it better because currently you can't have a chair because the bed's in the way. Recording. I don't know if it's recording. <laughs> Is that not yeah, recording? It's recording now. Oh, right. Does it has the little dot and record. <laughs> I thought that meant like it's ready oh, to record. How long am I supposed to be recording for? Yeah. I don't know really know if this is that interesting. Well, she can always figure out what to time lapse it or something. Yeah. Edit it. Uh -huh. Unless it was this way. To be fair, it wasn't like where you walked anyway. <sighs> don't really know what the mat's doing. It's I don't got think stains on. No. Like, would you no, the mat's the just there. The mat's just the... there because you've got no car. From the little chest of drawers. The mat is because of stains on it. <laughs> no, it's just there because there's no carpet. So there's a rug instead. <laughs> An ugly rug. It could go here. <laughs> no, leave the rug, please. Yeah, and it's more space for you to walk on it. As in here. Like yeah, like here. Yeah. Perhaps. But I think we'd have to turn that way then. Yeah, because it's going to fit in the chair. Oh, uh, right. Can you <laughs> still look at the curtains? Okay. Oh, good point. We never considered the curtains. No, but you had to climb on the bed to open the curtains before. It's a bit difficult. Oh, yeah, you did. <laughs> Wait. Your chocolate. Your chocolate in the bottom and the top. Abby's loving my camera. <laughs> I don't know how to. <gasps> oh! It just falls down. Oh, I thought I broke it. Because <laughs> it switched view and I was like, oh. imagine if I broke this, what would you actually do? Cry. <laughs> How much was it? I have to pay for it. 500 We got a before and after. 540. I've got a before and after. I've got an after yet. As well. You I'm can't tell because my mask on, but my mouth, well, my jaw just dropped. <laughs> 500 pounds. 540. I don't even have 500 pounds. <laughs> you get that angles right. I can't believe we just did that now. <laughs> I'll tell you, so that's five past ten. Yeah, go take yeah. some pills and some, drink some water, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I just got my text. <laughs> I'm positive. <laughs> oh, no. All five members of the house have corona. I think all you can do at this point is just laugh. Some worse than others, because Holly and Abby still don't have any symptoms. And, well, we thought Abby had a temperature the other day, but it hasn't continued, so we're not too sure. Um, Hannah's got a temperature, can't taste or smell, has achy body and headaches. Vicky's got a cough and a fever, and I can't taste or smell. So it's the full range of symptoms that we've got or lack of. We have our Sainsbury shop arriving between 3 and 4 today. I've got loads of work to do since I didn't do much yesterday. Um, I'm feeling super tired. I might have to have like a Coca-Cola for caffeine. I just sprayed my deodorant. 
and I could smell it. I've been introduced to the game Among Us and uh, it's really not a healthy addiction. I feel so tired. I've just been doing nothing. I don't even understand anything from this lecture either. Like, I don't even understand how it all links together. Hey guys, today is my last day in isolation. It's been it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been ten days since I've been in the outside world. I don't really want to go for a walk. I think I'm gonna get another test to make sure it's actually gone. In fact, I might book that today for tomorrow. Um. Because obviously I haven't had a cough or a fever or anything. I've literally just lost my sense of smell and taste. And they can last a while afterwards, even like once the virus is gone. But obviously I don't know if it has gone. It's like, you know, it's not like my cough and fever have gone away because I never even had them in the first place. Does this make sense? Just because I don't want to go to like Aldi and do the shop for my house and stuff. And then like give it to someone really vulnerable, like a elderly person. Or someone with like um, a weakness, immune weakness, you know. Why is the internet so stupid? So yeah, I don't want to go to like Aldi or anywhere before, unless like I know for sure that I'm negative. So tomorrow I might just go and get my test done and then go for like a quick walk away from everyone. A few moments later little update i can't get a test because um the center that came up wasn't the uob one and it was really far away and i can't get there because obviously i don't have a car or anything apart from that as well like my symptoms aren't new and they're running low on tests so i'd feel bad if i took it up just you know when someone out there could actually like properly properly need it so yeah i think i'll just go for a walk tomorrow away from everyone else and then just continue to stay inside for a couple of days I don't want to take a test when I don't need to have a test done where is it? look at that oh Genius. wow what a sticker in it so if I'm ever bored I'm not what's that on? just whack Harry Styles on whack the photographs I ordered arrived got all my friends and family on my pictures now so I can put them on there I don't know when I'm going to do that though because I need to do work <laughs> we all got takeaway I got chips garlic bread and a pizza and this whole big bottle of Pepsi all for seven pounds. That's going straight in my basket.
I'm gonna go for a walk because I can. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm excited like a little puppy. So yeah. <laughs> Bye guys! Are oh, you going out? Yeah. Bye! We're gonna have a party while you're gone. Okay, enjoy. Yeah. I'm going outside. <laughs>